to Stan the Wine Man TV. I am your host, Stan Rattan, and this is the Blue Collar Wine Show, where I help you spend your wine dollars wisely. I've been excited to do this episode. I did these last year. This is Gary Vaynerchuk's label, Empathy Wines. He does it with uh, John and Nate, and they do this label together. Last year was their first vintage. This is their second vintage. I was very happy with the wines last year and now we get to try the new vintages. Um, Gary, Nate, and John started this venture because they kind of wanted the idea of going straight from the farmer to the, to the winemaker to the consumer. They skipped the three-tier system which is the grower has to charge a little extra for the grapes. The manufacturer or producer has to charge to the distributor. The distributor then marks it up and it goes to the retailer who then marks it up to you, the customer. A lot of us don't like the three-tier system, but it works. It does work in the sense that we get, like, I'm a buyer at a store. I like the distributors to be able to present the wines to me, give me samples, let me try them. They have a sales rep who comes and shows me their portfolio. It's really helpful. So you're paying a little bit for the extra knowledge and the extra experience. So that's understandable. But you as a consumer, me as a consumer, pays just a little bit more for that wine. Gary is skipping some of those steps. Gary, Nate, and John are skipping some of those steps. And as a result, I got these two bottles, the rosé and the white, for about $23.30 a bottle. Now, they go to certain grape growers that are very experienced and well-known. They have Marcus uh, Bakish from Lodi. They have Clay Shannon, who has Shannon Ridge in uh, Lake County, one of the, one of the original uh, people in Lake County to grow grapes. Uh, Jed Steele's been there a while himself. And then they have Tom Mervin from Clarksburg, California. So those are the, the growers that they're dealing with right now. doesn't mean they won't find somebody else down the road. But right now, those are the ones they have a relationship. And they watch the growing of the grapes. They watch the production of the wine very closely. They have a cool little website. They kind of explain all this. One thing, just had to throw that in there. So this is the Empathy California White Wine 2019. And this rolls in at, well, I got it for... $23.30. There you go. Now, they say this dude in um, Lodi does a lot of uh, Spanish varietals, Abrino and the like. So, uh, that, no doubt that's what they have in these wines. Ooh. Give it a little rinse. Excited to try these. It seems to me, now I could be wrong. Now they don't put the varietals on the back. They did on the rosé, I noticed, which is really cool, but they don't do it on the back of this. And I, you know, it always bugs me a little bit. But we'll give them a break on this one. I just like to, I've, I've, I've actually talked to many of my viewers, on, and you guys have made the comment, you do like to see the varietals. You don't have to put percentages, but we do as consumers. Empathy, guys. We like to see the varietals. Just say, say, not a big deal, but we do. Let's see what we get on those. Now this has a like, a lot of a like pitted fruit, like peaches, apricots. Now you notice the glass is a little cold. Back in the day when Gary used to do a program called Wine Library TV, he used to get really pissed if they got the wines cold. Now, I've explained to you many times, I'll just say it one more time, I drink it the way you, the consumer, drink it. And most, most of you do drink your wines on the colder side. And I've asked this question, and you guys can make a comment if you'd like. Do you like to drink it a little bit colder? I mean, how many of you do, do drink your wines close to room temperature? Now, I have some wine geek friends that do that. And I understand why you get a little bit more aromatics. But I did ask a winemaker one time, I said, when you make that white wine, are you making it? in the sense that you understand what it's going to taste like when it's cold. He said, absolutely, because it's the way people drink it. So the winemakers actually think of that. Now, I don't know if, of course, Gary's involved in this. He may think of it in terms of room temperature. But you do get a little bit more aromatics out of them. Get a little banana on the nose. 
It's got like a white flower component that I really like. But you can get that sense of peaches and apricots and maybe a little bit of mango coming through. With a little banana thrown in there and uh, white flowers. I like the nose. Now let's see what we get on the palate. Good balance. It has acidity, but it's not super acidic, but it's there. Actually, towards the end, you kind of get that. Those, those, those fruits come through, that peach. Interesting, I'm getting a little apple on the on the actual back of this of the palate. I'm even getting a, just a touch some grass notes, some cut grass notes coming through, which is really interesting. So you get that peach apricot, a little bit of mango, a little bit of grass coming through, and then there's a nice little citrus hit on the back of the finish. This is fresh. It's clean. It's refreshing. Um, it, it would be a good seafood, clams, oysters. Be great with halibut. Be good with chicken as well. Even be good with a noodle dish. Not, no, no, not spicy. Just maybe a noodle dish would be really good with that. This would be a good salad wine as well. If you're just having a salad, maybe a little bit of blue cheese on it, that would be excellent. Yeah, kind of a citrus mango thing on the finish. Good balance, nice and fresh, good complexity. That kind of that little bit of cut grass thing is really interesting. It's not prominent, but it's just barely through there. I really like that in this wine. Is it fairly priced? Absolutely. Good complexity, nice and fresh, good flavor profile. I like it. I'm going to go B+. Plus. It's a solid white wine. Um, I'm going to say I could find a few wines in this price range or lower, maybe not tremendously lower, that are just as good, but I think this is a fair price. I think it's a great wine. I think a lot of you would like it. The only way you can get it, of course, to go to empathy.com and get on their uh, wine club list. That's the only way you're going to get this one, and you'll avoid all those extra tiers of pricing. That's your concept behind that. And I like it. Good wine. Nice long finish. Very fresh, very clean, very delicious. And solid white wine. B+. Plus. Let's move on to the rosé. Now, exciting. Now, I'm not sure if he did it last year. I can't remember if they, if they, they did it last year. But this time, I believe... We're not going to worry about that. I thought I saw that. Wait, was it on their website? I should have wrote it down. I didn't see it. Okay. Sorry, guys. Anyway, it's not on the label. Might look on the website. It might be there. Let's see what we get on the nose. A little watermelon coming through. Same price. Twenty-three, twenty-four. Showing the label. Really clean labels. Empathy. I remember when, uh, last year when Gary was trying to get people in his wine club. He was going at it. You talk about a marketer. This is a 2019 Empathy Rosé. Just bothers me that I thought I saw the grapes on here. I want to make sure I don't see them because if I don't see them, if I don't read them off, and yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming this guy Scott is their winemaker. Okay. Worrying about it. Definitely watermelon with a little bit of rind in there, a little bit of strawberries coming through. Actually, these wines aren't too cold. I like I like the temperature. This would be what I would think most people would drink their wines at. There's definitely a little bit of a red berry element in there. I get the watermelon, I get the strawberry. Maybe a touch of cherry. 
Yeah. Let's see what we get on the pallet. I really like this rosé. I like the last vintage. I like this one. It's got a little roundness to it because, you know, it has a little bit of that California sunshine, but still nice and dry. There's a, like, uh, definitely the watermelon comes through big time. A little bit of strawberry. And there's another thing coming through that gives it that roundness. I'm trying to put my finger on what that would be. A little citrus, just a tiny hit of citrus. There's almost like a uh, some sort of a tropical fruit note that's coming through that I just can't seem to nail right now uh, with the watermelon. Touch of strawberry, a little bit of cherry. of creamy on the mid palate then it goes into a nice dry finish which I like so this is a really cool rosé colors um, a little darker you know but a lot of people get kind of snobby about this it's almost a copper color a little darker but that's okay I don't seem to I don't mind that I hope you guys learn about rosé it doesn't have to be pale uh, pale 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 to be a good rosé this is an excellent rosé it has all the good flavors but still finishes dry I like it a lot. I think it's a definitely for 23 bucks. I mean, there's a lot of rosé out there from Bandol, which this kind of reminds me of a cross between maybe a Bandol rosé and a Provence rosé. Bandol's a little different, even though it is in Provence. I understand that. But they're a little different in style. A lot of Bandol rosés um, uh, will be very fruit forward. And this one has the fruit, but it's dry. And I like that. It's a nice balance. A lot of you guys will like this rosé. If you're a big rosé person, I would suggest you get on their website and get this. It's not that bad. They have three levels. I think you can go uh, silver, gold, something or other. Uh, I'm in the whatever. I get a six-pack of each of them. And it's very reasonably priced. This is a solid rosé for the money. I think it's really worth it. Get a little tangerine now, right on the back. This has a long finish. Just saying, long finish. If you're a rosé lover, you're gonna love this. I'm gonna go A minus A on that. Love that rosé. I think it's very good. It won't last long. I've already had a bottle earlier, about a couple weeks ago. I liked it then, but now I'm reviewing it and I'm. Trying to be as honest as possible. I remember when I read, reviewed them the first time, I was saying, boy, wouldn't it be fun to just kind of, you know, get a little nasty on these wines. But you can't because they're really good. But anyway, nice job, guys. Empathy Wines. Get on their website. I'll put a link up on this video. Thanks for taking a little time out of your day. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I always get that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I don't I need, a, I need a cadence. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Getting more subscribers. You keep watching. And I'll keep helping you spend your wine dollars wisely.